Good morning guys. Today we're going to do a walk around on the brand new redesigned 2015 F-150. A couple things that they've changed this year. Starting with the all aluminum bed and body. There's a common misconception out there that Ford did go with the aluminum frame. It's not true. It is a steel frame. They've increased the rigidity by about 70%, making it much stronger by adding a few more cross members and spot welding. A couple other things that they've designed is in the look. You'll notice there's a lot more angles towards the vehicle now. What that's done, they've actually designed it to de uh, decrease the co-efficiency drag, making, you making your truck more aerodynamic, gaining you better fuel economy down the road. One nice thing that they added is active grill shutters. So when you're going down the road at highway speeds, your grill shutters will close, which optimizes your fuel economy, your, your drag efficiency. But then when you need more power pull on the trailer, starting from the line, you open up a lot more engine airflow. They also moved the license plate bracket more towards the center of the front instead of off to the side. Makes it a little bit more anesthetically pleasing. Once again, they've redesigned the headlight here with an LED wraparound, which, and then the lights just makes it a little more visible for you. Helps prevent, make sure people are aware they see you prevent any accidents. One thing that's going to come standard with the F-150 here is going to be an all-terrain tire. That means it's going to give you real good traction, good tread. So when you have slippery circumstances, whether it's mud, rain, snow, ice, it's going to give you good traction to get down the road. But the same token on dry pavement, you're not going to have a lot of wheel lug. We'll be able to get going down the road. And then, of course, we have the mirror here. So one nice thing that I think Ford's really done is they've incorporated a spotlight into the mirror. They recognize that at the end of the day, you might not be done with your job. So what they've done is incorporated the spotlight in the mirror so you don't have to drag out extra drop cords, set up extra lighting just to see to finish the job. And then of course this truck here is an EcoBoost. This is going to be a 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost. You're going to have best in class towing capabilities of 12,200 pounds followed by payload capacity of 3270. So it gives you tons of room to get the work done. Reasoning for the payload capacity, the towing capacity is going to be that all aluminum bed and body. It gives you up to about 70% or 700 pounds lighter. Um, then of course, if you're not a fan of the 3.5 liter V6 EcoBoost, there is an optional 5.0 liter V8, a 2.7 liter EcoBoost, which is brand new. And then this year, they still have the 3.5 liter V6, which is the regular engine. One other thing here, we'll look at the, the uh, unlock sensors. So there's actually a five digit combination with every Ford vehicle. You plug in your five numbers, it automatically unlocks the door for you. We're also going to have running boards on them. The nice thing that Ford's done this year is they went with a black grip along the whole running board instead of just in certain locations. Makes it a little bit easier to get in and out of the truck, not to worry about misstepping and slipping on the running board. Well, you notice when you open the door, there is quite a bit more room to actually get inside the truck. What they've done is they've actually made it so you have about 75 degree door swing. Allows you to have more room to get inside and out of your truck. Then we have all, this is going to be a bucket, or bucket seats with the option of a six passenger seat here. So it's 40, 40, 20 is what they call this seat pattern. If you do want a bent bucket seats with a console, that is an available option. They've added a few things to the steering wheel here. They've actually added quite a bit of buttons just to help keep both hands on your steering wheel and allow your face looking forward instead of looking off to the side and distracting yourself. One other cool function that they added, right over here, there is actually a 110 volt outlet. So as you're out at the job site doing work, if you need to send in any invoices, you can actually charge your laptop right from your truck. Another cool function that I think they've done is they've gone with powered seats. Not only can you slide the seat back and forth, but you can actually raise it up and lower it. So if you're a little bit on the vertical, lower vertical end, you can go up or down. And then, of course, if you're taller, you can go in and out. Pretty nice function that I think they really have. Um, the foot pedals is actually an option as well that you can get them to move in and out as, as well. This truck doesn't have it, but it is an option that you can get. Now, when we come and look in the back seat here, once again, you'll notice you have that 80, almost 80 degree swing. 
there's tons of room in the back. So you can have, you know, six guys, five guys riding very comfortable in this truck. Now, one thing that they do is they optimize your storage. So the bottom of your seats do fold up and then there is gonna be a little storage tray right over here on the side. One thing you can do is if you have any tools, you can actually put your tools inside that tray so you don't have hammers and screwdrivers and stuff rolling all over for you. Nice little storage convenience. And once again, there is an optional 110 volt port you can add in the back for your back passengers as well. The cool feature that Ford offers on other vehicles is easy fuel. There's actually no gas cap yet. Gas cap in here. Just remove that aspect of it. You pull up to a pump, put your gas nozzle on, you fill up and you get it going down the road. We'll move on back to the rear tail light. Once again, all new redesign. You have your LED wraparound, which helps keep you, keep you a little more visible. On select models, you can actually get a blind spot monitoring emblem right here. What that's going to do is actually going to project radar sensors on either side of the vehicle and it's going to pick up any vehicle that may or may not be in your, in your blind spot and then it will illuminate in your side mirror and a beep through the inside of the cabin. This truck does not have the blind spot monitoring, but it does have the blind spot mirrors on the truck itself. Probably my favorite feature about the all new F-150 is going to be the remote release tailgate. This truck does not have it, but when you upgrade you get the Lariat, the Platinums, you can get a remote release tailgate. You push a button on your fob, tailgate pops, and then it gravities, gravities down. It's a pretty nice feature that I really like. And then they've done, they, they still offer your tailgate step and handle. You'll notice this truck does have the step and handle. You'll notice, well, where's the handle at? It's not here. Well, they redesigned it. They recognize the fact that guys were having issues trying to get pallets, tools, equipment in the back of their truck with that handle here. So what they've actually done is they've moved the handle behind the tailgate step. It's just locked in place. And then you fold it on down, go back in as, as needed. A couple more things that Ford's done is they've actually reinforced the sides of their bed and gone with a box link system. You'll notice these, these uh, little badges right here. There is some clicks that you can put inside. They lock, actually lock into place and then it gives you more strapping capabilities. So not only do you have your traditional four hooks, you have these as well. Now, if you don't really care much for the box link system, you can use the E-Tracks as well. So you just click the E-Track in and click it over. They also added spotlights in the bed as well, right here. What that's going to do is going to illuminate your bed, make it a little bit brighter for you as you can get pallets and stuff in and out at the end of the day. You will notice they also redesigned the rear window. Makes it a little bit more efficient, still slides open to allow for a little bit more air access, just a little bit more efficient as far as wind drag. A couple other things that Ford has done that I'm a big fan of is going to be their camera system. So this truck does offer your backup camera, which makes it a little bit easier to back it up towards your trailer hookup, and then you have your sensors. But they also offer a 360 degrees view on some of their trucks. So what that means is not only are you going to have your rear camera, you're going to have a Ford camera below your Ford badge. You also have two cameras on the sides of your side mirrors and you push the bird's eye view button on your center dash above your My Ford Touch dash and it actually shows you a 360 degree view around your truck. Now if you're driving five miles or under around your job site, it's really going to show you your clearance you have around stuff to make sure that you're not hitting or damaging your truck. Another feature that they've done is they've actually taken the power plugs from underneath the bumper and they've moved them up top. And rather than just having the one power plug, they've added both. They recognize that not everybody has your standard power plug. Some trailers, they do have that smaller plug. So you will have both of those options. So your big standard plugs here, your smaller four plug is right there. And then of course, you have a locking system here for your rear tire. So with that, I will tell you guys to have a wonderful day. And I look forward to seeing you for a brand new 2015 F-150.